Hey guys, Corey here. We are back out in the shop and we are starting a new project today. It's Monday and um, we finished up with uh, what we were happy with what we got done, you know, last week on the 64. So uh, this week we're going to put that to the side for a little bit and hop on another project. And uh, I just want kind of want to show you guys what it is. Uh, it's often talked about. Um, a lot of people are always asking questions about it, wanting to know how it's done. I've done a couple of them now, and I've never filmed them, so I'm going to actually film this one. But uh, let's go take a look at it, guys. All right, we got a 90 Fox. It's, um, I believe it's a 89 or 90. It um, has the common strut towers and frame rails. The rest of this car is pretty clean. I've been up underneath it. Um, it's got one little spot on the driver's floor pan he wants fixed, but you guys can take a look at these frame rails and the strut towers. He's wanting all new. He wants to save this, guys, and it can be done. That's why I'm making this video. That one looks real rough. I see daylight. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a full um, video on this the whole entire thing everything that it takes um, and you know if you guys hang in there we will um, try to have it done in maybe three or four episodes if we can but I don't I don't know if we're gonna be painting all this in here or what yet the owner kind of hasn't decided but uh, we will definitely get it all cut out and repaired and all primered and you know protected and back you know back together but uh, may, he might want us to paint it he might not he said something about later on having the whole thing painted so I think right now the main thing is just to get it back on the road so that's what we're gonna focus on If you guys got any comments or questions um, feel free to drop them down below but uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this thing up on the tripod and start tearing it apart All right, guys, um, we got all the, well, the hoods off. That was uh, four 10 millimeter bolts. Um, the fender bolts, there is, uh, I believe, five of them. Six for the fender. Uh, three six, on each side. Yeah, and then they're all eight millimeters. <clears throat> the, um, we just unhooked this bracket here on both sides and everything is loose now there is um, a bolt in here there you got to use an extension to get to and then on this car we had to remove the uh, ground effects and it's all um, Phillips screws it's supposed to be about I don't know six or eight per thing I think this one only had a couple holding it on but uh, We'll put some extra ones back for him when we're done. But, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and set this thing up on the tripod. Oh, one more thing. the um, it, it, when, In order to pull this off as a full piece, you got to fish the um, antenna wire through the firewall. So I unhooked it from the stereo and pulled it through uh, through the little bend in here. But you got to take that kick panel out and all that stuff. And... Um, drop this down you kind of see what we did there but um yeah um and then the last bolt was this these here after you remove the ground effects you can get access to them but uh yeah so all that stuff is loose and disconnected and we're going to go ahead and set this thing back up on the tripod and slide this off now if you guys have uh, fog lights and headlights and stuff you'll have to remove that stuff too but it was already removed on this one but we'll be back all right guys uh, front ends off um, 
now you can kind of get in here and see this stuff a little bit better not terrible I've seen worse uh, this one over here my car was actually way worse than this one um, when it started but um, yeah pretty far gone definitely needs some new steel but um, yeah as far as the front end goes you guys kind of seen how it was done real easy just slide it off leave it whole um, as far as the inside goes it was four uh, 15 millimeter bolts per seat and then we took them out and then we um, we got to pull this uh, center console out it's pretty simple there's uh, the trim ring around this pull it off uh, pull the stereo unplug it and then you've got um, these little plugs here clever in these holes you pull those out there's four uh, eight millimeter bolts in there you are two in each side on that and then this comes out of the way like that then there'll be a screw here and a screw here and then a screw a Phillips screw here and here pull them out and then this slides out of the way and then After that, there's two more Phillips, one here and here, and then um, these ones here behind this panel, here, and one there and one right below it. Push, push in on this side over here, just like that, and that'll fuck out of the way. And then pull those two out, and then we will be pulling this out, and after that, guys, we will go ahead and strip this carpet on out and on back so we can uh, get in here and take a look at our rust a little bit better. You can kind of see it. I pulled it back just a little bit. You can see it's definitely through there. So he's going to need a partial pan. But um, that's why we're here. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. And uh, if you got any questions, drop them down below. Feel free to ask. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. All right, guys, we have done a little bit of work and got um, everything pretty much out of the way. And we've figured out that um, we did the take the guesswork out of it for you. Um, these two bolts here are uh, 24 millimeter. That's the top of the uh, struts. Then you've got the four sway arm bolts they are 16 millimeters and then you've got the four rear k member bolts they are 16 millimeters you get them from the bottom and the tops have these little plates uh, you know that's the nuts are welded to to keep from spinning um, so you don't need a you don't need a wrench on the top and then the other bolts are here and they are 21 millimeters on the top and 18 millimeters on the bottom. And you can get through the bottom here with a wobble and a, um, and a um, impact and are, you know, and then the top you'll, you just, you, you kind of got to hold it there. But um, yeah, the only thing other than that is the brake lines that you have to loosen up they are here and I went ahead and sprayed them with some lubricant but um, they're not uh, they're not being very nice right now so we're gonna play with them for a little bit and try to get them broke loose so we don't have to replace the lines but um, yeah so we're gonna loosen up all these bolts we'll set this thing up on the tripod and you guys can watch us but We'll take all this stuff loose and uh, we'll go ahead and throw a jack up underneath the K member there and we'll lower this thing on down and uh, get it out of the way so we can get to the, the rust repair.
All right, guys. Um, we had a little hiccup. All we got everything off. Um, I also wanted to make a little correction here. A couple of these bolts, um, these ones here in the back are actually 15 millimeters, not 16s. And up here, um, we had some these holes here and over there. There was some mix matched. Uh, it had been taken apart before, so some of the nuts were all different so we had a heck of a time finding sockets for stuff but uh, we got it it's all apart now but uh, now we're having trouble with these bolts here and this is common i had the same exact trouble on my car over there um these clips and stuff they you can spray them with pb blaster or whatever and let them sit but and a lot of times they get stuck so we're going to apply a little heat here to the nut and um, hopefully you know, it's a clip nut, it holds itself, but uh, it did, it's broke. So we gotta hold it now, but uh, we'll apply a little heat to it and usually that'll work. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right, guys, you've seen how we done it. Um, impact on the bottom, a lot of heat on those nuts. Uh, I've learned that if you just heat, I'm not gonna touch anything because it's too hot, but if you just heat, take that torch and heat two points on the nut, okay? So pick a point over here and a point over here and direct your flame, the hottest part of your flame, right on that spot, there and there. It's gonna swell those up. It's gonna swell that nut. That's how heat works. It swells that up and it'll allow, you know, your bolt to come on through from the bottom. And you guys seen it work firsthand right there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and move around to the other side and uh, do the other the exact same way because they're stuck too. All right, guys, um, so we went ahead and got all four of those bolts out, and um, other than that, we had one other bolt you guys didn't see, and it was uh, the bolt that holds this joint here on the steering shaft. Um, it's a 12.716 socket, so we went ahead and pulled that and then used a pry bar and pulled that up, and then this went ahead and fell on out. We slid it out of the way, and that's where we're at now. So all we have left to pull for now um, to get started on this rust repair is the uh, master cylinder and the booster. So it's not a lot to that. Three lines there off the master, two bolts, and then I think there's either three or four bolts on the inside on this one. Um, for the booster and uh, then the brake pedal but uh, we will go ahead and knock that stuff out and um, we will be back all right on the outside we've got everything loose um, uh, all the bolts are loose the lines are off we're gonna hop in here on the inside and I'll show you guys a little bit how this is done Get my helper to hold this light for me. And I'm going to climb my big old butt up in here. Okay. Helper, shine that light right up in here so we can see this. All right. If you look at the top of the pedal here, somewhere, if I can get to it, um, right there. You guys see that red pin? Okay, the booster comes in and then hooks to this uh, brake pedal switch, brake light switch, and then to disconnect it, you pull that little red pin right there with a pair of needle nose pliers, pull that out, and then you can slide the rod through or the little pin through and disconnect the rod. And then those four bolts right there, that one, that one, that one, and there's one at the top. Easiest way I believe to get to it is ratchet wrench. Um, 
I don't remember what size bolts they are, maybe 14s or 15s. Um, but that's how you get this off, guys. Not super, super hard, but it's work. It's like 110 degrees in here, too. <sighs> All right, I'm out of here. That's what we're going to be working on. And uh, we'll be back when we get it off. All right, guys, the master cylinder and stuff is out. Um, we pulled that pin exactly like I said. Uh, got these four bolts. Three of the bolts you can get with a ratchet wrench. Uh, this top one, you can use a long, like three or four long extensions and go through the dash. Um, right in here. And you can get to the top one because you can't get a ratchet wrench on it. But um, that, and then it'll just slide out and it'll drop right out. But uh, I pulled that undercoating or that uh, stuff off of this here. You guys can really see how bad that is there. It's going to need a little bit of a patch. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for disassembly, guys. That'll pretty much conclude this video. I'll go ahead and start editing it and stuff tonight and, uh, you know, hopefully get it posted soon. Um, next, I'll talk to the owner and, um, you know, see what, exactly how far he wants to go, what he wants us to do, and, and let him take a look at how bad it is, um, or how good it is, I guess. Depends on which way he was looking at it, but, um, <laughs> yeah, so that's it, guys. If you have any comments or questions about anything we did, anything I can help you with, Anything I forgot to mention or failed to leave out, um, I tried to include everything, but uh, the, hopefully the next video, guys, will be actually cutting on it and replacing, and I'll let you know, you know, all the ins and outs of the thickness of material and all that stuff we're going to replace it with, you know, to make it factory. But, um, oh, I uncovered my car over here so you guys can take a look at it, uh, kind of how I did the repair on it. You can still tell that the, you know, the repair was done. It's, I didn't hide it. I didn't want to hide it. Um, you know, just, just, yeah, it's repaired. It's good. It's solid. It's, you know, everything is uh, back to factory. But everybody's going to know when they look at mine, hey, there's been rust repair, you know, done to this. And that's okay with me. They'll know it's solid. Um, we've done a good job on it. But yeah, that's kind of the look we're going to be going for on this one over here. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. All right, guys, that is it for the uh, for the Fox body. We'll be back probably uh, in a day or two, and um, hopefully put uh, another video up of us cutting it out and getting it all fixed up. Um, those of you guys that are uh, interested in this job it's not a it's not a terrible job pretty much anybody can do it if you know how to weld and you know what you're doing it can be done these cars can be saved um, and we'll show you how to do this um, like share subscribe tell your friends um, and thanks for watching guys